Hello, I'm Landis, and this is Subnautica. In this guide, I'll be showing you a few of the possible spawn locations for both the drill arm and the grappling arm for the prawn suit. First, let's head to the zero point. From here, we're going to want to head about 800 meters in the south southwest direction. You won't need the radiation gear for this. I would however suggest bringing the rebreather and a seamoth. For the first wreck we're going to you won't need an upgraded seamoth. A bare bones one will be sufficient. However for the second wreck which is past 400 meters down I would advise having at least depth module 1 equipped. You will need a laser cutter if you plan to explore deep into the wreck. I would suggest bringing a high capacity air tank. The only hostiles we're going to come across in these zones are warpers. As far as I'm aware, once you're inside, you are safe from the warpers. And you'll know you've reached the right place. When everything goes blue, and you get the big blue balls. Just down here should be our first wreck. And our first warper sighting. Lovely. Now, the drill arms and the grappling arms have a chance to spawn both outside and inside the wreck. They have a drill arm. Okay, just the one arm on the outside. The head here and top up my oxygen. So from here, what we could do is head down into that vent we can see. But there is an easier way. It's almost every time I've played this, not much has come from going down that way. What you want to do is head down the back, and there should just around here, by the big blue sparks, be an entrance and jackpot. Two grappling arm fragments. They may not be there for you, they may be drill arms for you. But hopefully, they are at least arms. Now, it's highly unlikely you're going to get everything you need from this one. So we can head off to the next one. For that, I will be changing from my tutorial file. To my let's play file. Okay, so once you've finished that, if you've not found enough pieces there, what you want to do from this point, head directly southwest. You want to drop to about a distance of 280 to 300. No brush to do it. Again, it's not too dangerous in this area. You will run into the occasional warper. But I would consider them more of a nuisance than a danger. You know you're on the rough, roughly the right track when you have to pass through little mountain ranges like that. Now as I've changed the file I do suggest having at least a slightly upgraded seam off for this. And you'll know you're almost there as you hit the sea treaders path. It's a good indication you've almost made it. And at that stage, you want to be dropping down to 400 meters. Just there. And in the darkness. There's the other Grand Reef. Big wreck. Yeah. If you found this video helpful, then leave a like. If you enjoyed this video, then why not subscribe and check out the rest of the channel. And if there's anything you'd like to see, leave a comment and let us know. I've been Landis, this has been Subnautica. Thank you very much, and see you soon.